Good day and welcome to a special episode here on the Super Data Science YouTube channel. We have got a surprise for you today and we will be looking at the new version of Tableau, Tableau 2018.1. Now this has not launched yet so don't jump, your, jump the gun but um, let's have a look at what is coming up as it's always exciting to see what will be released soon. Okay, so what is the most notable change that's coming? Firstly, um, this is not a functionality change you will be surprised with, but um, you would think that after Tableau 10, we can expect Tableau 11, right? No, not the case. They have actually changed the way in which the um, versions will be named going forward. So we will not be seeing a Tableau 11, although it is called Tableau 2018.1. So how does this work and what have they changed? They've included a new version naming whereby they'll use the year, dot the release in that year, and where required the maintenance release of that version also with a dot after that. So the most notable, although this doesn't really change our lives that much. But let's have a look at the functionality and what we can expect. Now there's quite a nice new things that have been included as well as a whole bunch of improvements as we've come to expect from Tableau. So let's jump into each one individually. Firstly, they have now included functionality to combine custom latitudes and longitudes with the normally generated latitudes and longitudes. This was not possible in the past, although we were able to create dual axis maps on the latitude and longitude that's created by Tableau, but now we can also combine it with custom coordinates that we've got from our own data. Super helpful. Also, they have improved, improved the hierarchy filtering. So you would know in previous uh, versions of Tableau, we had to use the all relevant values in, in database or in all the values in database when we wanted to update our filters based on the prior selection. And this was a bit of a um, difficulty when we had multiple levels that we wanted to filter on as other levels would have been updated. And there were some workarounds where we could use cascading filters. No more need for that. Tableau has now given us the option to filter and only apply to the values in the hierarchy. Next, they've included step and jump lines. Now, this is one of my favorites in this specific release. So we are used to normal line graphs using continuous measures. Now, Tableau has given us the capability to create step and jump lines based on discrete values. That's correct. So now we can look at stuff like the account balance or uh, interest rates and see what the change has been over a period of time, as you can see in the graph over there. Super, super handy indeed. Tableau has also given us additional capability to now use spatial data directly from the SQL Server, where we can just extract that, and that has not been possible in the past. Furthermore, the clustering functionality has seen some improvements as well. Now, in the past, you would know that um, the clusters that we create are static, and any changes to them aren't automatically refreshed in um, further sheets that we also using that cluster. And Tableau has been so kind to make those dynamic. So any change to the cluster will be reflecting in any sheet that you have actually used as that cluster. So again, super helpful and saving us some time. Tableau has also given us some improvements on the analytics tab. So you might have been using this before, but the analytics tab um, gives us some additional uh, yeah, methods to enhance our visualization. But now we've got additional guidance on knowing how to use them uh, and what they actually do. But in addition to that also is for the ones that have been grayed out, which we are unable to draw at this specific point in time, it gives us also now a little hint on what we need to include to be able to use that specific um, uh, functionality in the analytics tab. We also now have, um, uh, this is a small little change I think, but for, for some it might be quite, quite a handy one, is we have been, we've seen the visualization in Tooltip in the 10.5 release, which, is, which shouldn't be new to us anymore. However, now we are able to hide the sheet that we use within that visualization. So just as you would normally hide a sheet that's already incorporated into a story or a dashboard, you are now able to also hide the sheets from your view and just cleans up your, your uh, workbook a little bit more. Now for uh, special, special drivers that we need to get for, and especially server connections, Tableau has now created us a link 
where we connect to the specific server on where to download the driver and whether the driver is necessary. Super, super helpful if you're not used to working with different, some different databases. And last, but definitely not least, um, again, also in the 10.5 version, we've seen that we are now able to downgrade to certain uh, prior versions from the desktop version of uh, Tableau. However, now we're also able to do that from a Tableau server or Tableau online as well. So if you uh, have a model, maybe your, your organization is a little bit more complex and you might have models created by different versions or different versions of the server as such. And now you're able to save them and well download them and save them into a prior version, as you can see in the screenshot over there. So as you can see, jam-packed and really nice to, um, to incorporate and use and look forward to. But now the question you have is when? When can we expect this? Well, Tableau has not let that cat out of the bag yet. Um, well, to date, I might say, you, by the time you watch this, it might already have actually been um, released. But at the moment, they have just said it is coming soon. And I really believe soon is really soon. Um, we have seen a la uh, the latest re release of Tableau 10.5, release number three, on the 11th of April. But Tableau has also spent some time on the 14th of April. We've noticed on their support, support website that they have been updating the support site for 2018.1. So really soon is the answer. If you can't wait, you can always download the uh, beta version that's available. To, you can become a Tableau Insider and look at the pre-release programs. I've done that myself as well. And it's always nice for me to play around with the functionality before it gets launched to see how I can use that going forward. And that is Tableau 2018.1. So hopefully you are as excited as I am to get your hands on this and be able to use some of this functionality that makes our life easier. Do stay tuned to our channel. We've got some exciting content coming up and do make sure that you subscribe to the channel at the same time. Thanks for tuning in today and see you next time.